Sony, 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 Sony. You better start counting your days, Sony. What the fuck was this? Anyways, just like you, I woke up excited. Well, actually, not just like you. I'm, I was mildly excited for the PlayStation announcement today. I'm an Xbox fan. Xbox for life. Fuck with me. But anyways, I knew that the PS5 Pro was going to come out, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. To be honest, I'm not disappointed at all that we got a PS5 Pro. That was kind of expected. I'm more disappointed that the only thing we got was a PS5 Pro that costs 600 and 99 dollars and that doesn't even include the vertical stand no they don't do that no more you gotta pay for that separately so in total you're gonna be paying close to 800 dollars i pray for the people over in canada they have to drop close to a thousand dollars for this thing now before sony had their whole announcement and everything there were rumors saying that they were working on a psp successor and i was actually kind of hyped for that that's what i was looking forward to most for this announcement but i kind of set myself up for failure right there i really did think that they were gonna come out with the ps5 pro and the psp to be able to compete with the steam deck and every other portable gaming pc that's out there i thought that would have been cool that would have been great i would be able to take my playstation 5 games anywhere it's a way better option than getting the ps5 portal to me that's kind of a waste of money i can just get a backbone controller hook it up to my phone and i can play remote play that way i don't need a giant ass screen and the dual sense controller so in my opinion I really feel that Sony kind of fumbled the bag with this like just announcing the PS5 Pro is not enough if it was a big jump of an upgrade yeah I would be able to justify buying one but to be honest I can't really man you're hardly getting a difference to be honest and you're not even gonna notice that and if you really do want a big difference you're better off getting a PC for that price you can get a pretty good PC and it will last you way longer than this so please please I urge you do not buy this ps5 pro just get a normal ps5 and if you don't have a ps5 bro what are you doing it's been four years the console's out on the shelves you can buy one now easily it's not like how it was in the beginning where you had to wait in the queue and then scalpers ended up buying everything so please go get a normal ps5 now these scalpers are probably gonna try to get the ps5 pro so you're gonna be shit out of luck anyways you might as well just get the normal one there's not that big of a difference really just save your money or if you're willing to spend that much you might as well just spend a little bit more and get yourself a nice gaming pc and that's coming from me i don't even have a gaming pc I play on console and I know I'm not the only one that feels like this I've been seeing everybody comment on this and yeah they feel exactly the same way I feel to be honest this is a scam so generation of consoles kind of feels like a scam we're not really getting anything really new or exclusive everything's gonna be on xbox one and ps4 like they are still making games for last gen consoles bro. it makes no sense and by them doing this that's kind of ruining the experience of having an actual next gen console because the games are gonna look worse than what they would have looked like if they were made exclusively only for the new gen consoles or current gen consoles now okay now that i got my thoughts out of the way let's look at what everybody else has been saying on twitter like this tweet right here this one just sums it up completely to be honest you guys are selling the disc drive separately for a 700 dollars console we have to pay over 800 to get the full ps5 pro experience there is no way they thought this was okay but look at this tweet right here this is mainly just a picture it just shows two guys on on the left hand side it's the ps5 and the right hand side is the ps5 pro and it's just the dude with two extra toothpicks in his mouth or this tweet right here play has no limits it fucking does it's 700 dollars. what i want you to take away from this video is to just make a better buying decision and don't actually buy the ps5 pro just get the normal ps5 hell save a little money get the one without the disc tray if you want so please don't let sony screw you guys over they're starting to act the exact same way apple does like apple just came out with their new iphone and to be honest there is no difference at all you're not getting anything new out of that phone that thing is the exact same thing and apple still has the gall the cojones to sell you a thousand dollar phone with 60 hertz on it bro you can get an android phone with 120 hertz for less than that hell you can even get a folding phone for less than that Please, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this whole PS5 Pro situation. Do you think they should have given us a little bit more instead of just 
the PS5 Pro? Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Alright, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.